let's start the day with lipstick of smile good morning everyone that's good how are you today great i hope that you will enjoy our discussion for today by the way i am kct sancho your teacher for today today i will continue the discussion of perspective of culture and that is subculture and culture lab so what is subculture subculture refers to a smaller group or within a large group which develop norms of values beliefs and special language which make them distinct from the broader it is a group of people that has a unique set of values norms that don't necessarily align with the wider culture most of the people belongs at least one group that can be classified as the subculture. The large group, for example, the family, parents, they are tend to form their own subculture. Example, there are thousands of subculture exist in Canada. Ethnic groups are shared their own foods, language, custom, while the others are shared their experiences and some subculture are formed by a member who possess traits and preferences kaya pinapalawak nila yung subculture because of the lifestyle the beliefs the norms the language of a certain segment of the population within a society they arise a society become more complex and industrialized Kaya nabubuo yung subculture when there is a number of population that exists on that particular place. Also, these subculture are maybe based on age, social class, occupational, political, educational, religious, regions, nationality, or ethnicity. These are the also the example of subculture. The Tagalog, Ilocanos, Catholics, Protestants, senior citizen, and teenager. So, dito yon nabubuo yung subculture because of the harmonious relationship. Because everyone can talk freely, communicate, and embrace acceptance. Tayo sa culture lag. We all know that culture, it is refers to a ways of beliefs, custom, language, and ideas of a particular society. So, ano ba talaga ang culture lag? Culture lag, it refers to a gap between material culture and non-material culture. So, these two material culture and non-material culture is the component of culture lag. Material culture refers to a tools, weapon, arts, written, records, clothing, or any object that produce or used by human. Meaning, material culture, we... We usually see it, touch, meaning they are tangible culture. While the non-material, it is the opposite from the material culture because they are not physically object or artifacts. It includes any ideas, beliefs, values, norms that may shape and help the society. So this non-culture, these are the practices that we cannot even see touch but it's all about the emotion also it is being practiced by human people and that is the non-material culture see the difference if one aspect of a culture is progressive while the others are not so we can see that there is a problem and we will see how this log creating a social tension and problems to a society. The imbalance adjustment of material culture and non-material culture is called culture lag. Because according to William Ogburn in 1922, in his book Social Change, culture lag is a common societal phenomenon due to the tendency of the material culture to evolve and that change it rapidly 
while the non-material culture tends to resist change and remain for a longer period of time. For example, stem cells. Research shows that stem cells can be effective in treatment and cure several diseases. However, society often sees the use of stem cells. It could be an ethical issue. That's why material culture advances more rapidly accepted by people such that the non-material culture lab. Meaning, there is a faster development of material material culture because everyone adapt the change of material culture yet in adapting material culture the non-material culture stay or remain practice of human people and that is the culture lag remember that subculture it refers to a small group or large group that shared their beliefs, culture, experiences with those um, shared, pinapalawak nila yung subculture that will create a harmonious relationship of all people. While this culture lag is a gap between the material culture and non-material culture because of the foster development, all we need to do is accept embrace the changes and be responsible enough to use it properly i hope that you will that you enjoy my discussion for today god bless and thank you see you in my next video